A man convicted of killing his girlfriend in Burnaby and stuffing her body in a suitcase more than 20 years ago is now claiming she's still alive. Ang Lee has applied for refugee status in New Zealand, insisting he was set up. As CTV Shannon Patterson reports, a Vancouver MP is speaking on behalf of Amanda Zhao's family and urging Ottawa to get involved. On October 9, 2002, Ang Lee reported his girlfriend Amanda Zhao missing from their Burnaby apartment. Ten days later, the 21-year-old Chinese student's body was found near Mission. She'd been strangled. Amanda's body was found in a suitcase, stuffed in a suitcase. After fleeing Canada, Lee was sentenced by a Chinese court to seven years in prison for killing Zhao. Now 38 years old, he's living in Auckland, New Zealand under a new name and professing his innocence. Lee has applied for asylum there, telling an Auckland newspaper, it was a political setup by the CCP to get me in trouble. I believe Amanda could still be alive and walking around somewhere. Amanda's family came to Canada to identify the body. DNA testing was done to verify that, in fact, that was Amanda Zhao. So to simply say that somehow she's walking somewhere, alive somewhere, is absolutely disgraceful. Vancouver East MP Jenny Kwan has written to four Canadian ministers on behalf of the Zhao family, asking them to share information about Lee with New Zealand immigration authorities, who rejected the convicted killer's initial refugee claim and are now processing his appeal. Criminality is a key piece in making a determination for anybody's uh, refugee status uh, and immigration status. So Canada needs to make sure that we share all of that information with them. The Chinese court that downgraded Lee's murder charge to manslaughter also ordered him to pay a quarter of a million dollars in damages to Zhao's parents, but they haven't seen a penny. Instead of serving life sentence, his sentence was reduced to seven years. Instead of paying for any compensation for the family, he has not, and now he's claiming that she's alive. And so for the family, uh, it is... Uh, extremely upsetting and she wanted to bring a clear message to the government of New Zealand to the immigration department there that uh, Ang Lee is a liar a liar and a killer now living half a world away from the city where he took his young girlfriend's life Shannon Patterson CTV News